What's going on, man? This is Dr. Rodney Ferguson, along with my son, Rufus Ferguson. I want to go over something um, that I saw this weekend at the Nationals. It was absolutely fantastic. The, the, the grip fighting, the Nawaza development, the things that I saw going on in the, um, in the United States in terms of judo. I want to go over something that I saw in a couple of matches, and mainly the match between David Terrell and Christopher Velasco. Let me just say this. Christopher Velasco won the national championships. Absolutely fantastic. Um, as a matter of fact, there have been some times when uh, my son Rufus went down to train with Kitsusai and her mom Velasco, who um, who I used to train with uh, when I used to compete. And um, you can attest that Christopher is pretty good. Huh? Christopher had the best Kouchi Gari of the of the tournament. It was after he got off the mat, I was like, bro, that was clean. That was my clean, clean. Um, I want to go with something that Chris really did very well against David Terrell and something that David Terrell can fix in terms of a King Kaiyotsu situation. Now, I'm a lefty and Rufus is a righty, so this is very easy to explain. There were times in the match where David was just having a tough time throwing Chris. So what he did was he tried to cross grip to feed his lapel hand. So he cross grip here, and as soon as he cross grip, Christopher would come over top, no, over top, this way. Nope, Chris comes like this. He comes over, yeah, over, to, yeah, over top. And then when, when David went to switch to the lapel hand, push that down, Christopher would have his hand and then Christopher would get right in on the inside here. Just take a step over there and drag. And then Christopher's hand is on the inside. And now David is in a situation where he's trying to pull out and get out and over and over again, when you're doing this against Christopher Velasco, he's gonna attack over and over and over again. And what's gonna happen is, what happened is he, he got penalized and rolled up and rolled out. So. There are times when you could feed this particular situation, but when you feed like this, when you go to cross, and then you feed, and then you, and then you lose your sleeve, you're not in a great situation because you're one, you're giving up this lane, and two, you're giving up the what? Sleeve. So, Rufus, how should David, if he wanted to cross, how should he cross with his hand? Yes. No, he could do that, but if he crosses, he needs to cross with his elbow what? So when he crosses with his hand down, Chris can come over top. Now, go back. Now, I even talked to David about what he said. Usually I can, I can re-loop my hand. I said, right, if you come, if you cross and, and, and Christopher grabs the bottom of the sleeve, then when you ch come out, you can grab his sleeve. But if you cross low and he grabs the top, when you go, he, he's pushing your hand down. You can't rewrap because he's following your arm when you try to rewrap. So what you have to do, and we'll go over the, a couple of stuff. What you have to do is you have to feed high. Now, if I feed high, now it's very difficult for Christopher to get his hand up top. And if he does, what I can do is I can do what? I can drop what? I can drop down as I move what? Out. Now, if you look, now, the way my hand is positioned, as I drop down and move out, now I can grab the top of Rufus's gi, and I'm in great position. I'll show you again from this side. I cross, coming up. Rufus, Ru, not, it's, Rufus doesn't have the same angle, because in order for him to, to, to go over top, he has to move his, right, it's, it's almost impossible because it's going to be happening so fast. I'm going to come up, and I'm going to drop what? Down, and I'm going to be what? Out. So I'm, I'll come up. Boom, drop down, boom, and I'm out, and I'm here. And, I, and because of the movement, you can't come inside on that lane. Now, here's what David was doing, once again. David was doing this. Now, just, and, and just drag for a moment before you go. Go back, drag that way. Now he's right on the lapel, and I'm out of position. Here is exactly how it should be taught. Rufus will tell you the first thing that David should have done is beat the what? Beat the front side hand first, which means the front side hand for Rufus is my left hand. So Rufus comes out, keeps the distance, he beats the front side hand. Now if I move out, then Rufus can then, he can then cross. Mm -mm. He's not crossing that way. He's crossing as a lefty, he's crossing with this hand. 
Right. You'll step out and cross. I pull it. He steps out and crosses. Now, elbow high. Then when I go, yeah, elbow high. And then when I go to grab this, Rufus pulls it what? Down. Changes to the lapel. And then he's on the sleeve. Right. That is a gripping sequence that you need to have if you're going to choose to cross. Number one is I'm up. I keep the distance first. I beat the front side hand here or I grab the sleeve. When Rufus pulls out, then I step off the what? I step off the center line, cross with my elbow high. Then when Rufus grabs the sleeve, I pull down. Now I'm on the inside and I'm ready to what? I'm ready to attack. Small twos and fuse that people just don't pay attention to in order to help with your gripping. Now, how do we do these things without the gear off? I'm going to take my gear off. Rufus is going to take his gear off. I don't want you guys to see all of Rufus's muscles. Rufus has on an um, a undershirt, which is colloquially known as a, as a spouse beater. You got to call it a spouse beater because you can't, you can't call it a woman beater anymore. I'm not going to do that. So, this is when we go over this, the iterations, how it's done slow in real time. So, hands are up. This is how we practice. So, I need to step off the stone. Rufus will go. It's not your grip sequence. <laughs> okay, so lefty versus righty. This is what Rufus does. Rufus goes where? And he kills his sleeve, which is, stop, which is the number one thing that I would have told David to do in the chair. I would have told him to first and foremost kill the what? Oh, Kill the front side hand, and when you kill the front side hand, then you can put your hand wherever you want to go. So even if Rufus posts on this side, it doesn't matter. First, kill the front side hand. Now cross. Now you can cross. Now if you cross, he's going to step out and pull me towards the what? The normal. So step out. Boom. And then he can change hands. And then he can go to the sleeve. First and foremost, kill the front side hand. If you want to cross, cross, step off the what? Pull the person toward the what? Change hands, go to the what? And then begin your what? Very, very simple. Thank you so much, ma'am. Please remember to visit www.gripfighting.com. Have a super fantastic day. Remember, I love you, but God loves you best. Hey, I remember when it used to be short. <laughs>